Week nine, day four. When you're having a bad hair day, cut it off. <laughs> Trust me guys, none of your ladies put up with as much BS as Lynn puts up when I'm having a bad day. <laughs> okay, let's go have a look at the build. Okay, so we've got all of the peaks in and now we are running the center support. And, oh, and they've got some of the cantilevers out already. Uh, we will be fastening the roof to that. It's quite a thick metal, guys. It's not thin, not by any stretch of the imagination. And it is way stronger than some of these I'll call them tin foil uh, sea purlins. Uh, boy, after seeing Typhoon Odette, there is no way that we were going to build one of those roofs. And I see some pretty nice builds out there. Boy, I hope you're not in Typhoon Alley. <laughs> Just open them up like tin foil. Okay, we got the crew bagging like crazy. Let's go up front and see how they're doing. So part of the bad hair day was I was on edge already, guys, but boy, watch out for that trigger that goes and hits me. It was something very, very simple, but the crew refused to do some work that I needed done. So I did it myself and everybody paid the price. The guy with the Boko juice tried to sell and I went, no, no, no. These guys don't get rewards for that. No way. Anyway, um. <laughs> I live, try to live by the power of the smile because if I don't, I'll start slaughtering people everywhere. Because <laughs> I'm having a bad hair day. And look at this cow. This cow thinks it's a goat. Now, I'm not kidding you. This silly cow. Now, I know there's good greenery up there and it wants the greenery. But this guy that has the cow, he just doesn't pick up on it. It also goes over to this other little mound here. It likes to stand up there. The problem is, as it's looking around like a goat, <laughs> it gets its rope racked, wrapped around the, uh, the fence posts. And the silly thing can't get down. So I keep going and releasing it. Shouldn't have to do that, but I can't stand it. Okay, so let's go look at the electrical. Okay, they've got a double-sided skim coat on. It doesn't look like it in the video, guys, but this is sloped to our side on the top so that water won't pool. Uh, we have tied in on the load side of our meter, installed a temporary breaker, and twisted everything so that the guy can now get in and read the meter. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So there's what it looks like on the inside, guys. I stand corrected on what I said uh, the other day. There is a plastic shield over here, so you're not exposed to the wires. Whew. <laughs> but I have seen some where this is gone because guys break these and then they tap in to steal the power and it's live. Aizabika. I don't know why it stuck a second ago. Okay, so on the gate, uh, we will be doing a double fold gate, uh, not a single, putting all the pressure on one side. And the guys are boxing it in now so that they can pour the steel inside the post. And Joseph is welding there. He's tacking it directly to the rebar and then they will pour now that's that uh, steel has been doubled up so it is strong as all tomorrow i got to get back a little bit further here there's no way that that is going to come down uh, from uh, gate weight or anything like that so that will protrude slightly through and then they can put their 
I'll call them donuts or whatever you might want to call it. Um, put the donuts on the end so that you can slip the hinges down inside. Okay guys, a really short one today because I'm having a bad hair day so I got the bad hair all cut off and oh yeah the storm last night oh my goodness it came down not in buckets but in sheets holy macro it was unbelievable anyway uh if you're on the cell network here you get alerts and it was good they were alerting the whole of cebu uh, for potential flooding and potential uh, landslides. Uh, you got to remember that, uh, especially the island of Cebu, I can't speak to the other ones, I haven't uh, dug into their soil, um, but this is an island that is nothing but ocean bottom, been pushed up, and so it is very, very prone to erosion here. And once it cuts loose, and, you know, as I pointed out that subdivision, right on the other side here, the oligarch, nah, I need a road here. I need to push this all the soil down here so that I can build a subdivision. No bridge, not even a gutter, nothing, nothing. Had a big storm, washed all the stuff. All that material went flying down and put other people's homes at risk. Just saying. It's not the common man. It's the oligarch.